Here we have 4.5 greatest common factor of two numbers. So the greatest common factor of 34 and 38 is the question here. The best way to do this is to write all the factors of each number and then pick the greatest one. So when we talk about factors, um, we're talking about all the numbers that multiply to equal 34 and all the numbers that multiply to equal 38. And you're really going to want to get into the habit of trying to find all of a particular number's factors um, using this method. So what we do is we start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we'll figure out how far down the list we have to go, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, actually, what you do is you take um, the square root of 34, so square root of 34, and you get its decimal form. So if I hit the double arrow, I get this. So it's about 5.83. And you only take the whole number part of that, and that tells you how far down the list to go. And so luckily I stopped right on time because I only needed to go up to five. Now if I do the same thing for 38, I get square root of 38. Let me do the decimal. It's 6.16, which means I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, up to six. And that's how I know I'll have all of the factors, okay? As long as I go all the way down to that whole number of the square root, um, I will have all the factors. So then how do you do this? You basically do 34 divided by one and see if you get a whole number. I do, I get 34. So one times 34 is 34. 34 divided by two, do I get a whole number? I do, it is 17. So two times 17 is 34. 34 divided by three, I do not get a whole number. So 34 is not evenly divisible by three. 34 divided by four, nope, I still get another decimal. And 34 divided by five, and I get another decimal. So it is. these are the only factors of 34. So if I have 34, I should actually write factors of 34 are in order 1, 2, 17, and 34. And if you want to get them in order, just go down this list first and then up the other list and they will be in order. Okay. Now let's try for 38. So if I divide 38 by 1, I'll get 38. If I divide 38 by 2, I'll get 19. If I divide 38 by 3, I get a decimal. 38 divided by 4, a decimal. 38 divided by 5, a decimal. And then 38 divided by 6, a decimal. So then the factors of 38 are 1, 2, 19, and 38. And so we need to pick, they have two of them in common. They have one in common and they have two in common. And that's it. But you've got to pick the greatest one they have in common. So the GCF here would be 2. Okay. Similarly, we can do the same thing for 12 and 36. So we're going to do 12. That is 1 times 12. 2 times um, 6. 3 times 4. Now how far would I have had to have gone? Normally, when you get down to a number that's already on this side of the list, that's another indicator that you can stop. But just to be sure, do the square root of 12. And in decimal form, it is 3 point something. So I should have only gone 3 and stopped. What about the square root of 36? That is 6, which means for the number 36, I have to go down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So 1 times 36. 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, 5 will not go into 36, and then 6 times 6. So let's see. The factors of 12 are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The factors of 36 are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 
You don't need to repeat six because this is a list. Nine, 12, 18, and 36. So they have one in common, two in common, three, four, six, and even 12 in common. But which is the greatest? That would be 12.